If white sugar is made in this way do you still want to eat it? When sugarcane is ripe, workers will drive the harvesting machine to harvest the sugarcane, and then the trucks will take it quickly to the sugar factory for processing. The truck will first dump the cane on the receiving table, ready for the next two washing sessions after the cleaning is complete. The crusher will crush the cane into pieces, then the conveyor belt to the juicer, extracting all the juice from it. The sugar cane is squeezed by multiple continuously operating juicers to ensure that the cane pieces are fully pressed. The extracted juice is guided through the grooves to the large collection barrel. The samples are subjected to a series of tests in the laboratory. The technician adds a thickening agent to bind the impurities in the juice in order to filter the cloudy juice into a clean liquid poured into another machine to measure whether the sugar concentration is up to standard. The juice then flows down the 10 meter high tower. Sulfur dioxide vapor rises from below. This is the sulfurization process. It is used to bleach the juice. Then the juice flows through a device that measures the pH value. In another large vat, the workers add the lime powder to the water. This is used to make the solution of sugar cane juice that will be added next. The blender will mix the sugar cane juice and the lime solution for about 6 hours. To complete the alkalization, it will adjust the pH value of the juice and clarify it. After the reaction between the juice and the lime, it will change from brown to the current yellow color. Next, the juice is piped into the clarification tank. It will take more than two hours to clarify. At the same time, the impurities will settle to the bottom. The workers will take a few samples from the pond to show us how these residues, how it settles. The residue is not wasted. The mash at the bottom after extraction is turned into fertilizer. The rest of the residue is used as fuel. Next, the clarified juice goes to the evaporator and is boiled. This increases the sugar content of the juice from 15% to 60%. The juice then enters a large 15-ton tank. Here the residual sediment in the juice floats to the top. The rotating slurry plate then sends it to the side of the tank. After these processes, the previous sugar cane juice is turned into this sticky syrup. Then the workers will pour a bucket of white, sticky substance into the syrup. This milk-like solution will bind the sugar in the syrup to make it easier to refine the sugar. It is then cooked in a vacuum pan to form crystallized sugar. As the water in the syrup is slowly dried out, workers periodically check the progress of their crystallization until they become a thick, crystalline paste. The sugar paste is sent to a high-speed centrifuge. The molasses is quickly extracted out of the pot until only the separated crystals are left in the pot. At this point the machine sprays out water to clean the crystals. When finished, the water is pumped out again leaving only the cleaned crystals. Next, the conveyor belt leaves the centrifuge with the crystallized sugar. They start to enter the large drying machine step by step. They are tossed around in the machine. The moisture content of the sugar is reduced to 0.02%. It leaves the dryer and enters the bag on the scale. When its weight reaches 1,000 kilograms, the crane will transport the bags to another platform of the factory. It will lower each bag of sugar to the to the flow chute that leads to the main equipment, where a system of automated equipment will automatically complete their packaging. And sealing and splitting process. The sugar is then ready for use in every household.